Using AIM 5.1 on Windows 10, first what you want to do is obviously install AIM 5.1. The setup file is located at the AIM Phoenix website and server. So, yep. So I already installed it, but uh, first, if uh, AIM 5.1 opens uh, automatically after installing, immediately terminate the process using task manager if it's located over here so or else windows 10 will lock up uh, uh, until you terminate the process the next time that you open in 5.1 so to fix this all you have to do is right click on the aol instant messenger icon and go to properties and then you go to the compatibility tab and then check mark this box that says run this program in compatibility mode for and yeah check mark the box and then you uh, select Windows XP service pack 3 as the option and then click on the apply and OK buttons and then that's it so we can open it without any crashing problems once you finish doing that so let's open AOL Instant Messenger 5.1 now. Here's user account control. Click on yes. It asks if you want it to be the default uh, instant messaging program. I always say no at the screen. So yeah, and here is AIM 5.1. Ha oh, ha. Oh. This may be nostalgic to some people. So yeah. Um, to get AIM working after uh, December 15, which is the official AIM server shutdown date uh, for AOL, so uh, I am using a, the AIM Phoenix server. They they are running after December 15, so yeah, with their server it still works. So to uh, set up their AIM for their server, you go to setup and then click on sign in or sign on or off and go to where it says connection down here if um, uh, the aim setup installer ask if you're running on a modem or <laughs> or a local area network obviously since everyone is using broadband you obviously want to choose <laughs> the LAN option so yeah so we go to connection and then you want to change the host to say iwork.ddns.net and then the port is the same 5190 so we click on OK and then OK and then once you're done uh, obviously you have to sign up first on um, the AIM Phoenix server and account on there so yeah I'm gonna put on my password and there it is so let's click on sign on and now it should get me in there so yeah there it is and this always pops up aim will be discontinued on <laughs> December 15 it's obviously <laughs> December 19 as of this recording so <laughs> yeah and it's populating the list uh, oh hey anima creep is on <laughs> nice so anima creep if you're watching this video hello there I'm gonna try to message you hey anima creep nice to see you on here on aim fee fee phoenix there I, I am recording a video right now about AIM 5.1 for Vidly. And then we click on send. And there we go. <laughs> the red and the blue. Uh, yeah, you can also message yourself. I am talking to myself. Oh, I don't know why that popped up, but 
A Lego forty seven ten. Oh, <laughs> Anima Creep says hi. Hello there. <laughs> uh, you are being recorded for a future Vidly video that I will uh, upload later. <laughs> oh, the red and the blue. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I mean, every time you message, uh, the the send and receive sounds go off, but since I don't have stereo mix set up... <laughs> oh, it's just amazing. I don't know why this popped up. I'm not talking to a LEGO 4710 right now, so... Yeah. So, yeah, just close that. Uh, so, yeah. Yep. <laughs> Oh, yeah, so yeah, this is AM 5.1 running on Windows 10. Modern operating system, meet an old version of AIM. So, yeah. <sighs> hello. Oh, hello, Vidley. Alright. <laughs> yep, so I'm gonna end this video right now, so yeah, this is TCT 101 signing off. So, yeah, and that's how to get AIM working on Windows 10 version 5.1. So, yeah, goodbye everyone.